Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Blue Mountain Banana and this is Mount and Blade Warband. We're back and I'm here with the recent messages log to show you that two interesting things have happened. Tilbot Castle is no longer under siege and Derichos Castle or Derichos Castle is no longer under siege. So this means that these two castles were besieged. I mean that's that's pretty obvious. That's what what just said but i'm pretty sure that we and by we i mean swadia besieged tilbot castle while the kurgits who we are at war with this besieged derikos castle so i'm rather sure that we should meet some enemies over here somewhere all right so that guy what does he what what's what's oh no, uh, they're fighting looters, which is not that great. And you really, really, really need to look out against the Kurgits because they have so much cavalry in their their army usually. So that could mean Huh, interesting the tracks just leave. That could mean that they are faster than you on the overworld map. That's basically this world map. So keep that in mind that you might get screwed by that. Even they, if they have a larger army, they can run you down. It's not too likely, but it can happen. I don't want to upgrade this man at arms just yet, because just having one man at arms is not really great. Okay, let's just keep close. But this castle with just forty, uh, with just um, thirty-four. Garrison is pretty uh, vulnerable, I'd say. It's ripe for the Taken, which is not great. Also, we need to kind of stick around, um, yeah, Emirin, which is our own little uh, thief or fife. I have no clue how you would pronounce that. And I've heard a lot of people saying exactly this. Uh, one line here that they have no clue how to pronounce thief or five It's F E. No, it's F I E F So yeah, don't know So what okay, he's gaining ground is he? Let's see well, what's his what's his deal? He has veteran horse arches. That's pretty goddamn bad. He has some horse arches. They're not they're pretty pretty awful to fight against. They're, the Lancers are tricky because they're pretty damn fast and they can surprise you with a couched lance to the back. The classic horsemen, they're really they're bastards. The skirmisher, even more bastards. Um, Caravan Guard and Hunter, Huntress aren't even really well that surprising. And look at those traitors. He has some some Swadian infantry, man at arms, crossbowmen, and sharpshooters. That's weird. Is this guy coming out here or what? He isn't. Alright, so we're screwed. Because he's going to run us down here. Halt! I've got a corner to give up or I ride you down like a dog. Um. You can try. So now it's just yeah the lay the lay of the land I think. Uh, I it's really flat, so we are most likely screwed. Yeah, there they are. Most likely screwed. And he broke my shield with just one lance charge. That is super bad. Move it. Uh, let's infantry archers calf what again no let's kill that freaking traitor maybe I can ah oh, no yeah I got killed by lance see that's what I'm that's what I was about to say I got lance in the back Ah, frick. Uh, pull back. 
Yeah, five is on right. Those guys suck. They are the worst, believe you me. Huh. We don't have we don't have the manpower to really yeah blah blah blah. It's not not really that we can do anything. We don't have the the army size. Not really the size. I would rather say the composition. Thirty eight. Yeah, sure. So archers stay up here, trainees stay up here, infantry charge and oh, calf charge. That's what I wanted to do. So uh, what do I mean by the composition? Well, it's pretty simple. I, it's just the the Kyrgyz have this really fast and mm, really heavy skirmish heavy. Yeah, lost another warrior. Christ. But yeah, really skirmish, really heavy on skirmishes. They they they're fast, they're agile. They try to just outmaneuver you, outrun you. That's that's their deal, I think. And it's really hard to deal with that if you don't have a really solid. If you don't have a really solid line of infantry, or or a really really heavy cavalry, that's I think the other way you can get rid of them. Uh, refuse. Gaining honor is all is, is is good. Just gain honor for a bit. Yeah, so that's that's basically what you need against the Kyrgyz. In my experience, which isn't too great, but hey. A feast in Suno. Oh well. Don't know why you're going why we're going to feast. It's times of war, but fine. <laughs> Cult Melter got get captured. We should go on some well, campaign or I almost said crusade, but it's not a crusade. No idea. The village has been looted. Some of my crappy troops are ready to upgrade. Now we have five men at arms ready to upgrade. That's that's more like it. But still not good enough. I think I had the biggest army that I had, no! The biggest army that I had was about 60 men at arms and knights. That was decent, to say the least. It would be a bit. Yeah, sure. I'm, am I always the only one that, that uh, arrives at those feasts? You're assholes. It's like, hey, come to our feast. Ha <laughs> ha, fooled you, nobody's here anyways. You idiot. Oh man. Now I feel stupid. Whatever. Whatever. Let's see, any cheap chargers? Ha, huh, lame one. Great, taking it. Lame. Lame is the condition that can go away over time. Which is rather, well, I wouldn't hope for it. Let's let's put it that way because uh, those idiots get down every single time. But hey, we got a cheap horse. Uh, yes, yes. Let's see. Can they level up? By the way, now that I think of it, tell me about your skills. I just leveled up once. Uh, pretty slow. All right, all right. Let's see. Let's get. Hmm. I mean, what's her leadership skill? I think I should maybe just just push her leadership up a bit, maybe or not. Let's get yeah. Let's get shield done. 
Let's give her another point in shield and push. Let's push strength to 12 first and then we can see about that. Also, she needs a new, a new sword and so does Rolf, I think. Let's take a look. If there's anything else we could buy. Not really. See, that's by the way that. Not. It's, it's a teardrop shield, I think. Yeah, not quite. I think a teardrop shield is a bit longer. Also, it's a bit more. It's It has a bit. It's a bit more round at the top, and it's just. I don't know. It's close. It's close. That's a teardrop shield. Yeah, it's called a kite shield here. I think I mentioned this in the last episode. Hey, a Warhammer. Sadly, absolutely not the thing that we want to use. Some of these arrows. All right. Um, sure. Let's move on. Hmm, Rindar Castle. Rindar Castle. Where is that? Ah, it's down there. So it seems like some of our people try to siege there. Maybe. And who's fighting over here? Manhunters versus bandits. Let's help out. And let's everybody of my troops stay there, except for, of course, the calf. So I'm, I'm just trying to risk the minimum of uh, my, well, I'm trying to minimize the risk of losing my troops. If I lose Manhunters, I don't freaking care. Could not care less. But on the other hand, how, ca how could I? I mean, there are seven Forest Bandits or what? Eleven Forest Bandits or something like that? Should not be a problem anyways. Well, that's the that's another troop uh, troop type that I think you'll get from the male peasants. And I mean, look at them, they're light calf with a uh, flanged mace that it looks like. So, meh. They're not that strong. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Let's get some more bandits in. Our well, a prison basically. So, let's take a look at the Kurgits. Maybe we'll find a party that we can actually take out. I am I think I'll, I'll get the last battle rather poorly. So, an army of enemies spotted near Derikose. Well, take a look. Really carefully though. Hey, 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 hey. You stay away from the city. No, you're not allowed to. Hey, they took it. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. This was ours. Maybe. Just maybe. No, it's 70. It's 73 again. But. They, are, they have 20 lances here. The Kurgit lances. It's the, the fourth entry from above and the third from below. And the thing is. Those suck. When they can't ride, or you know, when they are on foot, and when they defend a castle, they they are on foot basically. So that's a, that. So they are basically kinda useless. Same goes for horsemen. The horse archers and horse uh, and veteran horse archers. They're kinda strong though, and since I don't have any horse calls, yeah, well, I want to follow these tracks. For a bit, should lead us to the others. Interesting. Maybe I'll find some of my friends around here somewhere. Oh, they are. Oh, whoa, 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 let's get away from. Whew. I thought, hey, they're in Dernus. Maybe, maybe they leave. No, his party is still here. Tilbot Castle has been besieged by the Vagirs? Yeah, well, good luck with that. Oh, another pink one. 
Wow, what, what's going on here? Haha, -ha, there's a 20 stack. Maybe we can kill them. Let's see. He has 12 lances though. And he's moving at the same speed. And there's the king. I think we could take Ter Derrickos castle if we find somebody. King Harlow's confirm Marshal. Oh, you changed Marshal. Interesting. And he's traveling way faster than we are. Uh, not cool. Yeah, not cool, man. Not cool. Hmm. Might want to try and get to one of our castles. Gosh darn it. And just ask where our guys are. This could help. So... Hello? Anybody home? Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, even the Count is here. Interesting. Oh, uh, let's see. May I just suggest... Will you follow me? I've got a plan. There's a fortress to be taken and it's um, Derrick Hill's castle. Ah, come on. Oh, wait a second. If you don't want to come with me, is there anybody who wants to join me? Um, the location of someone. Let's let's ask for the marshal. Maybe he's at Uxkal. Okay. So that's where we head next. I'm trying to find someone willing to help me fight or take this castle, which would be pretty damn good, because usually the guy who captures it gets it. You sh oh, there's the whole party. Look at that. Uh, that's that's the marshal, right? Poof. That's that's bad. <laughs> so basically, he he knew that we kind of had to retreat. Um. So basically, what are you doing? Oh yeah, sure. Derrickless castle. Perfect. They are moving out. They are moving exactly where I want them to move. Small bands of enemy nearby Ibrian. Ibrian? Where's that? Huh. Should not zoom out too far though. And this count is. What's his name? Daglan. Ah, the Rolex are fighting the Serenids, that's alright. Why the hell did you turn around? Get over here, you stupid bastards, and help me siege the stupid castle. I might be able to get them to join me. I'm not 100% sure if I can. Nah, they, they re did they reinforce it? Looks like it. Huh. No, they didn't. I think it was... Because I just can't... Ah, there they can. Maybe I can lure him. Nope. Didn't work. Come on. Lure, lure, lure. Yes! No! Why didn't you... You idiots! You could have taken... Aw, oh, man. Ah, uh, well... They're still sieging. I actually want to try and help this time. Even though it's not the best idea, but hey. Who cares? Speed up time a bit. Hmm, they didn't even attack at dawn. I thought they might. Who's the siege leader? Yeah, yeah. Hey. I I defeated seven freaking counts. 
or Boyers of the Vagers. I'm pretty darn good at fighting Vagers. Just because I lose one little battle against stupid freaking Kurgits. I'm I, I get all this this I don't know, this hate. Assholes. <laughs> Just assholes really. Who's the who's the siege leader here? You're the siege leader, right? Huh. Weird. No, he isn't. Who's the marshal here? Hmm. I don't even know why I'm here. I mean, it's not like I get anything out of it. Oh well. Don't care. Let's see if there's anything else to do. Maybe Tilbot? Yeah, that, that would be even better. Let's see. Maybe there's someone willing to follow me. Now oh, they're fighting right, right now. Approach the siege camp, try the next assault. Why the hell not? Whoa, look at... Look at Count Reese. Two-handed sword, winged great helmet. Looks pretty epic, that guy. Count Haringoth is here. Count Delinard. I have no idea if those guys can actually fight... Uh, let's give him formation and tell him to stand close. It's it's rather funny. I think that they listen to me Even the Kings here. Look at that <laughs> King Harlow's Let's just I have to be in this mix. I mean come on I Need to be here just to show my valor in battle or something like that. I don't know Yeah, yeah shout all you want is there anyone on the right hand side or left? Nope. Alright. Let's let the archers move up. So, Hala's got one, Stammer got one, Reese got two. Yeah, just because you're at the front, that's not fair. I could have killed them all. I think. I'm sneaking at the backside and I'm missing every shot. They are running into a blender, which is great. I like it. So, and by they, I, I absolutely mean our enemies. So, just to be sure. I could just jump down and, you know, just try to stab him in the back, but what good would it be? I think just shooting some random arrows from up here helps. I mean, of course, it would help more if I would actually hit somebody. Which doesn't seem to happen very often, to be honest with you. Aha, I got another one. There is a pretty high level, interestingly enough, but okay. Let's let the archers move up here actually, now that I come to think of it, it would be smart. But that's it, we won. That's how a successful siege should look like. So we only have one casualty, that's amazing. Oh, okay, and we got... Our king got wounded, oh no! I don't think he can actually die, so... This is rather bad. Yep, yeah, because this can happen. So now we are one versus four, basically. And we are surrounded. Yeah, no chance. I mean, come on, how, how should I... How am I even... I don't know. And my whole party loses? What the f- Are you serious? We have to do this all again? I mean, what, how could I win that? These were the high level, high level troops. 
which a lot of proficiency, weapon proficiency, of course. I mean, that was impossible for me. I mean, all seriousness here, it's, I don't think it was my fault that I lost that. So if they, they're like, oh, we heard you got knocked unconscious during the siege. You noob. Um, I'm pretty salty if that happens, because it's not like it, it was my fault. I mean, they got knocked the hell out even before I did, so they couldn't even know. I mean, sure, somebody could tell them, but... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I get a bit... I, I get it. Sometimes I, I'm, I'm really salty about this. I don't even think I need to... As I was saying, I don't even need to charge because my people should, or our troops should do that. Um, there's this wall of yellow and red, which you don't want to see usually. So... Can you tell me what, what happens here, people? What, what, what the hell? We got owned. Hardcore. Huh. Good shot, Borcha. I want my archers to move to move up a bit. What? Took it then? How wasn't that a hit? You kidding me? Kill that guy. Thank you. There's this small little window where you, your crosshair is really small, and then, it, then it's a point to shoot. Also, you have to, to look out. I think, I think there is friendly fire when it comes to, um, to, to crossbows. You can't hit your own troops, just showing it right here, but you can shoot your own troops. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. It's just the highest level tier troops, and I don't like it. Yeah, but you get knocked, knocked, and got knocked unconscious, which was rather obvious. Nice shot, Mister Arti Artimander again with the. You can't shoot them in the legs, by the way. It's not that their shield covers the whole body. Yeah, see, I hit him, and the shield got destroyed. Huh. What a stupid bad shield you have. Are there any more arrows around here? Doesn't look like it. Oh man. Oh, yeah, right. I told the cavalry to stay. I don't like it that they still classify as calf, but okay, I get it. How would they. No. This is intense, sorry for not talking, but hey. I'm pretty goddamn low on HP. And this guy... Yeah, I'm pretty much just... Getting them into the sights of our ranged, our ranged guys. I do think now we got it, though. We lost practically no one. They, those guys got pretty much owned. But hey, who cares? Yeah, and there we go. We got it. We got it. Another trained crossbowman. Another warrior. Always nice to see. Another footman. And we have, we could have some men at arms here. So wait a second, let's see, is there anybody who's willing to come with me? Let's ask the king. Why the hell not? Do you like me? He likes me a lot. Yeah, see, that's great. I will not forget how we captured Derekus side by side. So... I might suggest... There's a fortress. I think it was Tilbot.
And I think we have 269 men now. No, 96. Sorry. I, it's really hard reading this. I, I, I'm slightly dyslexic, so please come on. I mean, cut me some slack here. First of all, I'm slightly dyslexic. Second of all, uh, it's the way you would read num numbers in German. It's the other way around, so that always gets the better of me. Anyway, so there is still the castle, and it's still... Sucks. Perfect. Besiege the castle. Prepare the letters. Do it. So the king is helping me, right? Right. Um. So, let's wait until tomorrow, press escape, and I'm gonna save before I do it, just to be sure. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, if you liked the video, press the like button, it helps me out a great deal. Leave a comment if you think how I should progress from here, or if you have any insights or outsides to the game or the medieval period. I like to hear stuff like that. Anyways, again, thanks for watching, and as always, auf Wiedersehen!